Tonight at 10, newly released dash cam video shows a Franklin County, Indiana man pulling a gun on deputies. You're about to see it. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Mackey. Rob has the evening off. Deputies fired at the man after he ignored several commands to drop that weapon. Courtney King is live in Brookville with the story you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, Trisha, we're live here outside the Franklin County Courthouse because this is where Zachary Chetwood pleaded guilty to attempted aggravated battery and several other charges back in May. And then late last month, he was sentenced to 9 to 11 years for the incident. And in the dash camera video we're about to show you, you do see deputies firing at Chetwood, but you also see them rushing to save his life. We do need to warn you that the video could be disturbing. Very dangerous situation that he created. Drop the gun! This newly released dash camera video shows the tense moments between Franklin County deputies and this man, Zachary Chetwood. Drop the gun! Authorities say Chetwood called 911 in May of 2022, threatening suicide. Deputies drove to his home in Cedar Grove, but as you can see in the video, Chetwood pulls a gun at officers. He dismisses the commands, and officers wait nine seconds before firing. Drop the gun now! Drop the gun! Listen closely to what Chetwood tells officers. Let me die. County 113, we got two hits to the leg. And the officers were, were forced, um, were compelled to defend themselves. Chris Herkamp is a Franklin County prosecutor. We didn't have evidence that he fired first, the suspect. Um, the evidence is that he was hit, went to the ground, and then fired his weapon. The video shows officers going to a neighbor's house to check on them. Are you okay? Yeah. Several bullets from the exchange hit the house next door, which is where a family of five lives. We spoke with the family last year when this happened, but the parents didn't want to go on camera, but say Chetwood is a military veteran who they are close with. They also say he would never put anyone in harm's way. You can hear deputies providing aid on Chetwood as they wait for an ambulance. We'll be all right. You're going to stay with us, man. Keep talking to us, man. Yeah. Chetwood pleaded guilty to several charges in May and was sentenced to 9 to 11 years late last month. Is that he accepted full responsibility for his actions. Her camp says Chetwood created a very dangerous situation. These officers are heroes. They wasted no time to go over and save his life. And none of the deputies involved in this incident were injured or hit by the gunfire. And Chetwood right now is in the Franklin County Security Center, which is across the street from the courthouse. He is waiting to be transported to a different IDOC facility. We're live in Brookville. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Courtney, thank you.